It's usually around this time of year. Homes are getting hardened as hurricanes stack up in the Atlantic. But one of the best mitigation methods isn't at your local hardware store. It's growing all over the state. What we know is that trees work. It's the oldest, most cost-effective carbon removal tool we have out, out here. That's Keiki Worthington. She and this crew of forestry and ecology experts work for or with Aurora Sustainable Lands. And today they're taking stock of some of Florida's all-natural hurricane hardening. You know, trees got out of R&D uh, from a technological development standpoint, you know, millennia ago. And we're, we're capturing that here. Capturing by purchasing and preserving trees. Aurora is the seventh largest private land owner in the U.S., managing around 1.7 million acres. We've got a big map here. Including this around 40,000 acre property in the Apalachicola River Basin. It runs almost from the Georgia, Florida, Alabama line all the way down, you know, probably within uh, 30, 40 miles of the Gulf of Mexico. I think it's the, the largest private ownership along the Apalachicola River. We recently found out why these guys are so eager to buy trees up in huge quantities. Companies like Aurora are in the carbon game. They buy and protect trees on private land, measuring how good they are at consuming carbon in the atmosphere. As you can see from some of the examples out here, um, not every tree is in perfect form. And so we enter this data into equations that calculate how much carbon is in a tree. They then sell carbon credits to major companies to offset their carbon emissions because, well, trees love CO2. They breathe it in, helping reduce the impact of climate change. In fact, Aurora just scored a deal with Microsoft to protect 425,000 acres like this for 4.8 million carbon removal credits. But what does any of this have to do with hurricanes? Well, these guys say it's twofold. More trees protected means stemming climate change impacts like increasingly severe weather. The other, trees are great at protecting you from water. Our forests help keep the water moving at a slower rate. It helps filter out, you know, whether that's chemicals or sedimentation from the rain. Uh, and when the water comes in, it also helps buffer it coming into the communities as well. Think of them as organic flood walls, and there's a lot of research to back up their benefits. One 2020 study found mangroves alone annually reduce property damage by more than 65 billion and protect more than 15 million people around the globe. That's a lot of green because of a lot of green. And while these guys are working with a for-profit company, they say their goal is more than making money, it's making a better planet. We're here as land managers and forest owners to do what we can to help that changing environment. Changing it, they say, by protecting it.